Hello and welcome to the third episode of Tambayan Season Two. Come hang out with us. My name is Mariah, and today we are joined by two of our committee members, Nicole and Sunny. Please introduce yourself. Hello, hello. My name is Nicole, and I am CEO of Philofest. Oh, I don't like saying that. <laughs> I head up media and marketing for the festival. My name is Sunny.、Um, I'm a logistics officer at Philofest. Hyphen. For the Fest Games coordinator, which we will be talking more about in this episode too. Amazing! I don't know if I said, but I'm Mariah, and I'm going to be the host of this episode today,、um, and also the host of Philly Fest. So see me there.、Um, tell me what you guys have been up to recently. How are you guys? So me, as of late, so I recently graduated、um, in July. My background is in film and TV production,、mm -hmm. but I've also delved into events because I was part of Greenwich Filsoc. Shout out to you guys!、Um, yeah, I was part of their committee. I was actually president for two years, and now,、oh. now I'm here in Filsoc committee. Ready? She can't let go of the Filsoc. I、kiss. cannot. She's like, out for Rika's job. <laughs> oh, maybe <Go> not. <laughs> Okay, maybe not out for Rika's job, but go for it.、Oh. <laughs> She's in it for the long haul. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, a lot of people said that I Phil Sock will just it will always stay with me.、Mm. Like they can't take Phil Sock out of me. You know,、mm. so now I'm here. Once in Phil Sock, always in Phil Sock. Oh, can、Caption、I steal that, that line? <laughs> yeah. Said. What about you, Nicole? What have you been up to? I've been thinking about this question. And all I can come up with is I've been a student. Oh no, I know you've been doing your dissertation. I've submitted it on Monday, as of this filming. Submitted it on Monday,、um, and now I just have my final exams and deadlines coming、When? up.、Uh, my next deadline in、yeah. a week. <laughs> okay, I don't know what you're doing here. In a week, <laughs> I'm good, guys. I'm good. I'm here.、Um, but I finish sometime in May. And then straight after that, it's Philly Fest crunch time. It's all Philly Fest. It's、and、all Philly Fest. And she's fully devoted for us. Yeah, amazing. It's like amazing. I mean, for myself, what I've been up, what have I been up to? I, I mean, I was telling you guys, guys, this earlier. I lost my passport. That was great. <laughs> and I really wanted to go on holiday, and that really just broke my heart. And then while I was in a meeting with you guys, yeah, I, someone from IKEA messaged me and was like, they have my passport. Yeah. And I was already on the bus on the way to them. So I literally jumped off the call. Actually, I stayed on the call, so they were watching they me the whole the time. It was a whole vlog. <laughs> it was、yeah. a whole the vlog. Chaos of the chaos, and then me walking into IKEA and my saving grace with my passport, and they said it was like honestly a miracle. And I was. It was like eight p.m. at night. Eight p.m. Maybe nine. Yeah. yeah. Because we're always grinding for Philly Fest. <laughs> <laughs> But my my question to you is: Are you gonna end up going to that holiday, or is that completely、mm. cancelled? No, so luckily,、um, I I just had it in me that I knew I would find it, and so I didn't fully opt out of the plans because I just thought somehow I will get a passport. The power of manifestation. Yeah, I didn't cancel any of my cards because I also had my cards in my bag that I lost, and、oh、I didn't、God. cancel any of my, any of my cards because I was like, I know it will come back to me, and I manifested its return. I'm happy for you. Yeah, we're happy、Maybe、for Philly you. Maybe Philly Fest is good luck because I was on call with Philly Fest when I found out. Yeah, yeah. So if that's any indication of why you guys should come to Philly Fest, I manifested my passport back. <laughs> anyway, <let's move> on. <laughs> okay. So this episode, we're talking about all the behind-the-scenes stuff and questions that would make you go, "Talaga."、Oh. So let's start with how you guys joined the committee. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I'm the oldest one here. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna ask you your age. <laughs> <laughs> okay.、Um, I joined Philofest straight after I think the first festival in 2019.、Mm -hmm. I finished A level, and I knew Jess at that time. She was still at UCL, and she is one of the OG founders of Philofest. And her aunt knew my mom. Blah 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 blah. So she took us on a date, but we <laughs> we went to the Philippine embassy for that date. Um, I don't know why we chose to go to the Philippine Embassy, but we did, and that's how I found Philly Fest.、Oh. And I was going to take a gap year because, long story short, I just moved to the UK, and in order for me to be qualified for a UK home fee and not be categorized as an international student, because、mm -hmm. God knows where I'm going to pick up eighteen thousand tuition fee,、yeah. I had to take that gap year. And you know what? I was just losing touch of being Filipino, growing up in the Philippines for sixteen years.、Mm. I was like trying my hardest to like fit in here. That I realized,、yeah. oh my god, I don't even 
where's my community yeah where's my community i don't have any filipino friends so i was like okay let me join filifest like at least i'll be around filipinos Mm -hmm. yeah that was my intro and i started off as rika's executive assistant and i did yeah i really didn't know what i can contribute so she was just like yeah you're ea at this point but yeah that's how i started around titles yeah (laughs) how where was filifest in um the filipino embassy what were they doing there nothing Jess just took us there. Me and my sister, we just went there and then we got bubble tea afterwards. Oh. So like a little field trip. A little field trip <laughs> for <the> soul, <laughs> me and my yeah. sister. Yeah. Um, we sat in one of the meeting rooms. I have a picture. That's about it. I can't imagine having a day in the Philippines. Yeah. I, I saw the manuscript of Noli Me Tanghere. It was like a oh, page of the manuscript. Yeah. yeah. It's a massive copy as well. Yeah. Yeah. I just have a lot of memories of like queuing up for like four hours every time I'm in the Philippine Embassy. I love them. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny, how about yourself? Me? So I actually went to the very first festival in 2019. And honestly, being there just felt like home because you're basically yeah. surrounded by like other Filipinos as well. And I think a year later, yeah, that's when I started uni. That's what inspired me to join the phil sock at Ooh. greenwich little did i know i was going to be part of committee throughout like my uni life and like i know like our phil sock we've like worked together with philly fest like here and there and yeah and now i'm here i started lost i'm i'm new i'm new here but um yeah that's kind of how i started and i've just been like wherever rika and nicole needs me <laughs> I'm there. You've got your hand in everything. Yeah. <laughs> Until you take over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has a greater plan in place. Yeah. yeah. She's been there from the beginning. Yeah. For myself, I feel like my involvement started with Rika. Um, I've known Rika for a long time and she's just been talking about Philly Fest for so long and it's been this big plan for her for a long time before its conception. And then when it finally came into reality, I was like, I don't know if I want to work with Rika. <laughs> I was like, I just would love to just listen Mm -hmm. and observe Mm -hmm. um, because I fear you. (laughs) Because she is such a hard worker and she knows what she wants. She's very precise with um, how she wants things done. And I think that's why she creates such great and amazing things. And so I was like, I don't want to be involved because I don't want to disappoint you ever. But um, it could make or break her friendship. Yeah, honestly, that was like the big thing. I was like... I don't know if you'd like working with me, Mm. (laughs) Um, but I just was so inspired by like how it was growing and evolving. Mm. And again, it was the same reason. Like Mm. I want to be in touch with my culture and where I come from. And I feel like being raised in London and it's like there's a lot of different cultures. And so people are so proud of where they come from. And I grew up in Kent where I was hiding that for a very long time Mm -hmm. because you wanted to fit in, right? Yeah. 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 And so I was like, no, this is my chance to embrace being Filipino and what a better way to do it with a friend of mine. And so I go in touch here and there, you know, I do a little little dabble, dabble, dabble. (laughs) (laughs) I'm a personality hire. So as you can see, I I know it's Sunny's actual (laughs) name, but in reality, Sunny does a lot. So she's not just a personality hire. I feel like... That is just what I do. I just show <laughs> up and say a couple of ha ha he he and then I tap out. So <laughs> peace, see you guys peace, next year. <laughs> so they can't blame me for anything that goes wrong. <laughs> because if they blame me, they're blaming my personality and that would suck. Okay. Oh. So I'm I'm happy to just be here as a host and I'm and I'm like really really enjoying it. And I've learned so many skills from working in Philly Fest because I think one of the coolest things about being part of the committee is that you don't have to just do one thing. And I tried marketing, I've been filming content, a little bit of logistics here and there, and I've just discovered so many talents that I didn't know I had. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes you have to apply for a job to discover those talents, and I just got to do that for free over here. So that's great. Literally. Okay, let's move on. So we were all at the festival last year. Mm -hmm. Um, How was your experience and was there any standout moments for you? I was at Tindera in the merch booth and (laughs) I can probably say that we've sold out the merch very quickly. So I'm very proud of myself and that was my first time 
it's so funny. It was my first time being, I guess, like a sales assistant. Mm. And now, like, my day job is a sales assistant. So I would like to thank Philifest. Um, <laughs> I told you, see? Pick up skills. <laughs> yeah, I would like to thank Philifest, actually, for providing me the experience that I needed for the role that I have now. Um, so, yeah, no, it was, like, super fun because, like, I also got to, like, engage with, like, other people as well, talk a little bit more about, like, Philifest, too. Yeah, um, yeah it, was just, it was just fun. Aww. Can't wait again to get the Dara. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. Yes. I, I did hear okay. a little whisper from some people who were wearing the merch that it got a little bit too hot because it was black. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, or was it not true for you? I understand, and okay. so I don't know if there's a spoiler teaser. Bleep this out, but um, <laughs> the new merch is a little different, um, so it won't be too hot. I love that. I love that for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As for me. Um, Fest 2023 was actually the first time I planned, I well, I helped plan the festival from start to finish, because mm-hmm. I wasn't in 2019, mm-hmm. 2020, 2021, that's COVID, so we forget about that. We did <laughs> do, so, so, we did do a lot no, of things, did, but we forget fun. about it. Yeah. Um, 2022, I helped out in the beginning, but then I was in second year of uni, mm-hmm. and I kind of just can't do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 2023, I was in placement, so I was able to actually help like out from time, C yeah. to the end. Mm-hmm. So it was a f- very satisfying, very, I don't know, just so much pride in it. Cause yeah, 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 yeah. And then I saw it to the end. So that was fun. Um, actually being at the festival, insanity. I arrived later than everybody else as well, which <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I live south. <laughs> it was difficult to get That's to UCL. Yeah. Um, but I forgot to eat. Oh. I did have food. I forgot to eat. I just, my brain was just not... I yeah. think no I completely get you because like me when I was like president like mm-hmm. I think about everyone else before me yeah. that somebody yeah. needs to like bring me a plate like Sunny sit down like everything's going fine just sit down and eat yeah. like have something in your yeah. system yeah. yeah you work like many months to get to that point and then the final day comes and you're just like yeah and I, and I don't mm-hmm. think I got the the harshest or like the roughest time it's definitely the person behind the camera right now that definitely <laughs> was the oh most <laughs> no let me tell you i was scared to go anywhere near her i was like are you okay do you need me to do anything she'd be like no <laughs> be like love you too okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> i felt like my role was a lot easier thank god um i was a host i got to be on stage i got to be behind the scenes i got to be at the front row to see like all the performances and yeah, I felt like I was like a VIP member of oh, Philly Fest. <laughs> um, just got to talk to the people that were performing before their sets and just really hype them up. And yeah, being on stage and just seeing um, the festival in like the best view ever just felt really nice. So I feel really bad. I had a really great time. I was really, really <laughs> relaxed. Um, and the host was so fun. And yeah, like it was the best view, best seat in the house. So hopefully I get the same the same privileges <laughs> watch when you guys put me to work i'm like okay fine <laughs> too many privileges okay i think this question is more for nicole what challenges or difficulties did you have planning this year this year yeah <laughs> maybe the fact that i'm in final year is oh. the most difficult um fitting it around uni making sure i'm still on top of uni work yeah. and on top of phil work i don't know how you're doing this honestly I think I set it out to be, I was very aggressively messaging and planning everything so that when I need to skedaddle, Mm. everyone has everything they need and they know, like at this, I've I've resorted to sending voice notes instead of actually typing out what I want, what I'm asking Mm -hmm. from people. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, I remember um, for my diss, I (laughs) remember changing my status to a big X emoji on yeah, slack which is try. where we communicate i was like this deadline sorry guys and before i completely turned off my notifications for it i sent a lot of voice messages and my intro was like hi this is me i'm so sorry i'm just voice messaging i have my this deadline soon can you do this 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 and this when i come back i promise i'll check it over and that was that was just you know that's the most difficult part but at least voice notes exist and the committee has grown so big and Rika has gotten so many people in as well. So many people has re- reached out to us that they yeah. want to help out. You're an example, a prime example of it. <laughs> yeah. Always having like Mariah back up. Like whenever I message Mariah to do something, she's always there. She's always show up. And I don't need to like worry about anything when it's like 
committee doing something for me because I've worked with a lot of you guys for a long time. So that's like yeah, helped yeah. out a lot. Yeah. And I love that you've set boundaries. Dissertation is is no go, no go. No go. And I think we we respect that, which mm-hmm. I love. <laughs> we don't. We we try, we try not to to even like. Yeah. You know, because that's important. It is. But it also shows the type of people we have in Philly Fest. Hard workers. Reliable. Reliable. Hard workers and reliable. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to be like that, join us. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> we need more people. <laughs> Promoting. Um, how about yourself, Sunny? Let me have a read. Um, I think... I mean, what challenges or difficulties did you... Oh, did, were you part of... You weren't really. You were no, just, I wasn't sorry, really. Yeah. I was just... Um, yeah, I was just Tindera. Tindera. But was there any, like, standout moments from last year? <sighs> Honestly, like, me, kind of like you, I was just there in my little booth, just trying to sell <laughs> shirts, you know? And not just shirts. There was also, like... Um, earrings and like necklaces mm, like necklaces, from other yes. like other of the sponsors so yeah i just so yeah just she keeps looking. saying that it's not true <laughs> she's done a lot behind the yeah, scenes i wouldn't really say like anything was particularly like challenging like mm. being there at the merch booth because it was i would say like it was pretty straightforward and yeah just chill so yeah, yeah. also one of the good seats in the house because the stage is right yes. there yes so I got to see the performances too, which was amazing. Yeah. Oh my god. I yeah. ran. I knew the song that the Seau sisters were going to do, and I was like, I've missed out on so many performances that I knew I wanted to watch because yeah, I was just like there. everywhere, and I was I'm mostly surprised. in the cloisters. I'm surprised yeah. you weren't dancing, honestly. Girl, no. <laughs> <laughs> no way. She's probably looking like you know her little like she like no, that. No, I can do she the ocho with, with the Ray and the host. Nice. Nice. The ocho with Ray and the host. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I remember hearing the music. I was, I just ran out. I was like, mm-hmm. at least let me watch this. But there were so many people, people. Yeah. watching, and I, I'm also really short. So I was just like, guys, someone have a video for me. <laughs> just say yeah. like, do you guys know I'm the I'm the CEO? I'm the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Make way. I'm Excuse the reason me? this is happening. Yeah, Where is my walkie-talkie? No, I think you need like a, a little CEO. label so then everyone knows and move. then they'll move out of your way. <laughs> So this next part is an exciting one, and even I don't know much about it. Ooh. Sunny, what is happening on the fourteenth of June? What is Philly Fest game? Oh my gosh, that's a interesting question. <laughs> so this year, Philly Fest is finally, finally hosting their first sports fest on Ooh. the fourteenth of June mm-hmm. at Brunel University Sports Center. Yeah, it's very exciting because we're not. It's not just you know like Philly Fest committee. So we've actually reached out to. Um, different Phil Socks around the UK, both North mm-hmm. and South. Um, so they're going to be playing up against each other um, with the sports basketball, badminton, and volleyball. Oh. Um, yeah, very, very exciting. Very popular sports in Philippines. Yes. 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 That would be so cool to see that here. Yeah, And I, I don't know much about it because I'm not exactly in the know of all the logistics planning but i am a very nosy person mm-hmm. so i have seen some of the documents and the emails mm-hmm. so i know that we're putting together two all-star teams yes wow we are. and the names. the names i know everyone's been waiting we for the name names yeah. so for the north um north team is called talon tribe for the south that. team is called carabao chargers I love that. Alliteration. Yeah. we love that and I love that it's based off of the national animals yes. of the Philippines. So the national bird is an eagle, which mm-hmm. is why it's a talon. Mm-hmm. And the national animal, if I'm not mistaken, carabao. is the carabao. Yeah. Wow. I think initially it was just going to be named like north and south. But I was like, we need to like, you know, Get implement. Yeah, going. we need to like implement. Filipino um, spirit. Yeah, Filipino spirit. Because like when I was in the Philippines, I was able, I studied there for a mm-hmm. while. So I was able to experience like sports fest there. And there were, mm-hmm. we had like actual like names for each team yeah. and i was like i want to bring that here so now we have talon tribe and carabao chargers Wait, one so year i was i was in a team called mighty ducks wow and it was <laughs> i'm not even joking it was mighty ducks <laughs> can ducks be mighty they can if you now. want if they you want them to be, be the ducks in be. the philippines might be <laughs> <laughs> who came up with the names um it was actually um nicole and wow. other Nicole, other Nicole, oh. other Nicole and <laughs> Alyssa, and they're basically the ones designing the jerseys. We're gonna have jerseys for like the teams and also for the Philfest committee. Oh and my God, I'm just going to ask, we get merch, team merch. Yeah, if you guys volunteer, Fun. um, you get merch or the 
jersey depending <gasps> on like which event you're going to be volunteering to so guys sign up if you want free merch but also to develop you know your experiences and your <laughs> skills <laughs> yeah no, but how cool would that be to be walking around with a team jersey yeah i mean style wise I love a football, uh, <laughs> basketball jersey. And you know what? My dad, my sister plays a lot of sports, so they always have their jerseys with our surname. So <gasps> I tend to just borrow it if I want to like dress up just sporty. Up. <laughs> now, can I actually have my own jersey? I don't know, but hopefully. 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 What are the colors again? So North, I believe, is red and South is blue. Philippe's team is yellow. So it's I'm basically, we're still yellow. incorporating the yeah. Philippine flag. I love Essentially, that. yeah. Oh my god, that's yeah. so cool. I'm excited. And I, one thing I really love about the Philfest Games mm-hmm. is that um, the festival obviously has a lot of the culture in it. It has Filipino food, mm-hmm. the talents, yeah. the performers. It has the Philfest <laughs> Games, like traditional kind of mm, games that we play at home. But one thing that we've been missing is sports. Basketball is like a huge part Massive. of the Filipino yeah, culture. Yeah. culture. Yeah. Oh my god, that's literally you're bringing a bit of home back here. Literally. Because when I was in the Philippines, that's all we would watch. Just like basketball, basketball teams, teams, like school basketball teams, even like the neighborhood kids basketball yes. teams. Yes. You would have just like random hoops, hoops. around yeah, around the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's so great! I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this part is the quick fire questions. Oh. So one word or phrase answers only. Okay, okay. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah, shake it out. Okay, what does Philly Fest mean to you, go Sunny? Um, home. Oh, nice. What does Philippine Philly Fest mean to you, go Nicole? Uh, um, community in the UK. Nice. What does it mean to me? Um. Um, Three, two, two, one. Culture. Why are you counting yourself that (laughs) (laughs) way? I got nervous. I got nervous. Oh my god! And I'm the host. I can just like not opt out these. (laughs) What do you keep? Why do you keep doing fully first? Three, two, one. Go, Nicole. Oh, oh, because um, um. (laughs) (laughs) Call a friend. (laughs) I I can't. Sorry. (laughs) Tap out. Okay. Okay. Sunny, take it away. Go. Um, it's hard to say it in one word, but I would say. To grow, oh, but nice. also to inspire the way that Philippes has inspired me to be where I am now in the committee. Yeah, I think for me, it's to also grow my skills and my confidence. I think if you had asked me to do this podcast before I even knew about Philippes, I would be like, that's crazy. I mm-hmm. get nervous. Public speaking is crazy. And now like I host events and I join you guys up on stage. And I think confidence. That was not quick fire. So sorry. Nicole, take it away. <laughs> okay. Mine would be, I think it's all about loyalty. Loyalty nice. to the culture, loyalty to the team. Okay. And it has grown so much that I just have a huge, I just feel a huge responsibility for it. Mm-hmm. I feel like we keep doing this because we feel responsible yeah. for what yes. we bring. Yeah, yes. the message, everything. Like, yeah. And we're loyal to each other yeah. because mm-hmm. we've worked so hard on it that like we just keep going back because yeah. we want to continue. Everything's voluntary. If yeah, you think about it, it is. that's what's so crazy. That's why it's all about loyalty. loyalty. Yeah, like people work so hard. You guys work so hard for something that's voluntary. The what you get back is just seeing people so happy, enjoying mm-hmm. the festival, and like that's enough for us to come back next year. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Okay. The most important question: What's a memorable for the fest moment? Moment that you keep going back to? Think okay. about it. I do have one. Okay, I do have one. This happened in Full Fest. It's not going to be quick far, but I'm going to make the long story short. Full Fest 2022, I was there for vibes. I was in the middle of my exams, but I came down because I yeah. want to be there. Mm-hmm. And I remember f- watching tug of war games at the game section. Yeah. And it was between like, I'm pretty sure there's a video of this. The um, uni guys just kind of going against each mm-hmm. other's. Yeah going against each other and there was this l- two little kids at the very front of like <laughs> each team I this really little boy that. and the little yeah. girl yeah. and i remember being just stressed like what if they get hurt risk assessment oh. all i'm thinking about is like health and oh, safety health and safety <laughs> that was all i was thinking about mm. and the uni guys were not holding back like they were pulling and i can see yeah. the little boy and the little girl their feet were dragging like they weren't on the floor anymore they were like monkeys on the rope 
And I was just remember I kept filming because I was like content. <laughs> but there was like the dad next to me. I'm pretty sure it was the dad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was the dad of the little girl. Mm. And I remember telling the dad like maybe we should pull her out. Like what if she gets hurt? And she was just it's okay, it's okay. He was happily filming his kid. Yeah. Um, and then I remember okay, it ended one team won. Okay, they want another round because like it's like a tie or something. Mm. Um, and I remember coming up to dad. I'm like okay, what if we just don't let her? Like what if she gets hurt? And her, the kid, the, the the little girl came over and said, can I, can I go again? And I was like, go, go, go. And he came up to me and he said, you know, this is the first time she's been around so many Filipinos. Oh, this is the God. first time she's played that. the games I played as a kid. Wow. And I just stepped back. I was like, wow, I that's amazing. Like, yeah. That sunk into me and I'm yeah. like, okay, you I need to do this again. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, oh, okay, amazing. we need to keep doing this. This is like a big deal for a lot of people. Yeah. yeah it is it is like for me i wouldn't say like any like funny like moment but it was really like being in the merch booth all because i like what i've mentioned like i went to the very first um festival in 2019 Mm -hmm. and helping a last year being in a merch booth, it was so nice to see like how much philly fest has grown like since like physic like physically like seeing like people like coming in throughout Mm. the day and yeah it was just lovely i was like wow like th- this is why i want to be part of part of committee why i want to yeah. keep doing for the fest yeah. and like it happens once a year and i meet some people just that one time that one day that yeah. fill fest the festival day yeah and you know i see some of like old committee some people i've met while working with philip fest and i only meet them that one time and that's why i think the second episode of tambayan is named tagbuan it's a rendezvous mm-hmm. point. Once a year, we gather together and we meet everyone. Yeah. And I'm like, and I probably have pictures of like with G and I, for example, oh, yeah. from 2022. Yeah. And I'm waiting for the 2024 picture of us yeah. just like, hi, you know, so you're cute. here. It's really yeah. like a family reunion, reunion. like family day, family yeah. reunion at Philly Fest. I mean, yeah. That's why I love like our socials that we do before the, the festival where we meet with the entire committee yeah. and just have a, like a committee day. And we meet with the people that we haven't seen for like a year. Yeah. And we're always still so excited about yeah. it. Like it, despite it being maybe the third time that we're meeting, we're still like the third Philly Fest that we're involved in, for example, we're still so excited. We're yeah. still so excited and we've grown so much over the years, just as much as Philly Fest has grown. I mean, for me, this question, I have like so many answers, so many answers. I'm excited. <laughs> I mean, one of them was like, when I first joined, I would only share Philly Fest to like my Filipino friends mm. that I thought would be interested because I thought, oh, well, this is for the for Filipinos. Mm. Like I will only tell them about the festival. But then last year, I was just sharing it to everyone, everyone mm. at my workplace. And I realized how interested people were. Mm-hmm. And when I posted it on my social media, people like from all different cultures, all different backgrounds. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, I'd love to, like, I'd love to learn more about Philly Fest and the Filipino culture. I'd yeah. love to go to the festival. And I remember so many people telling me, yeah, I'm going to turn up um, yeah. from all the people I've mentioned it to. And I was like, they're not going to turn up. They're just saying that. Mm. Like, they don't have any association with Philly mm. Fest or Filipinos and anything like that. And it was just so cool to see them actually rock up, you know, like, only introduced to Filipino culture through me, yeah, through their only yeah. Filipino friend. And just being like, oh my God, I, I tried um, ube today. This first time Aww. I've tried halo halo. And I'm like, Aww. I said that in a really weird accent. I'm going to say I'm still, you know, trying to get my Tagalog yeah, in order. Yeah. But um, yeah, like it was just so cool to hear them experience Filipino culture for the first time through Philly Fest. Like mm-hmm. we introduced that to them. Yeah. And that's when I was like, wow, like this is going to go big. This is going to go mm-hmm. big, literally. And yeah. I'm like so excited excited where it's gonna and go because i'm always on like the full fest instagram i always mm. forget to share it on my own social so yeah. whenever i do i remember some of my old co-workers who do follow me on instagram were like nicole what is this mm-hmm. and i remember them following on linkedin and I'm, I'm getting all these notifications and mm. my i don't know if i can say this some of my co-workers did rock up to Philly Fest mm. last year and I remember seeing them and I'm like what are you doing here I know. crossover episode yeah, yeah. Like, like two worlds really colliding I'm like, like I'm not seeing you in the in your You're professional the attire. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Literally. And yeah, and even in like Bath, for example, I go to the University of Bath. And this year is the first year. In my final year, they finally brought back the Phil Sock. And wow. 
I there was one event when I kind of just wrote follow Philofast on on the blackboard, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, Nicole, talk more about it." And I realized then that it was like not a lot of people still know Philofast. Like, I keep saying this. I started Philofest when I was 19. Well, I joined Philofest when I was 19. And now I'm like, I'm not going to say my age, but it's been a couple <laughs> of years. <laughs> it's been a couple of years. And if Philofest wants to remain young mm. for the young people, by yeah. the young people, we need to keep, keep going, going back, not yeah. aging it. Yeah. Like the committee will grow, but we need to keep pulling in the young people. And that's mm. why it's so important to also keep in touch with the Philofest because that's where the entrance of like the new young people are going to be that's yeah. where i feel like is. as well like since philippus more like filipino societies have been established and it's like such a wonderful thing to see because i know when i joined uni like there weren't a lot of like phil socks until like each year there's like more phil socks like coming out from like not just here in london but mm. all, all over, over the uk yeah. which is amazing and they have this like little hubs of like phil socks that just yeah. like gather together and i yes. love that i love when they do that. I love that and we get involved and like yeah. there was this one time they were doing um university ball what was it called the phil sock gala, gala. Phil sock gala. Shout out to um I, me and Rika went there and I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm the oldest one here. Like, we're the <laughs> oldest ones here. Like, I've not been associated with a university for a couple of years. I won't tell you how old I am. But for a couple of years and I was like, does this mean I'm the oldest? Well, Rika's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Take my job. Take my job. <laughs> but we were like, oh my God. <laughs> the amount of times I've stopped myself from saying my own age and you, you just <laughs> literally outed. I didn't say anything. I didn't say how old I was. I mean, I'm still, I'm still kicking. I'm still fresh. <laughs> <laughs> no one noticed that I was too old to be there. And I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, um, thanks for hanging out with, with us at Tambayan. Remember to follow Philly Fest on all our socials at Philly Fest on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Check out more at Philly Fest at phillyfest.co.uk. This Woo-hoo. has been Mariah. Nicole. Sunny! Thank you, and we'll see you at Philly Fest. Bye! Bye!